From Daily Forex, this is Chris taking a look at the Ethereum and NEO markets. As you can see, Ethereum has pulled back a bit during the day. Not necessarily a bad thing, though. This is a market that, um, you know, started to get pretty bullish over the last couple of days, and that, of course, is a good thing. Uh, but uh, three bullish days in a row, you kind of want to see a little bit of back and forth, building up a little bit of belief in this position. You know, whether or not that ends up being the case longer term and that we can rally from here, I don't know. But I do know that you don't go in one direction forever. So with that in mind, I think a little bit of a pullback towards 2500 probably offers us a buying opportunity of a small portion, not of, you know, you don't go in and yellow it right away. Um, and if we break down below this candle, we'll probably reset again down at 2000. It's a matter of crypto in general trying to keep its uh, feet underneath it. If we do break above 3000, then I'd be a little more aggressive. NEO looks horrible. There's really no other way to put it. As it has uh, shot underneath the $20 level to about 17 and a half, only to bounce again. Uh, we did give up some of our gains. So at this point in time, it looks like we're just going to hang about $20, probably waiting for the rest of crypto to save it. Uh, NEO clearly does not have the juice. You can see that it peaked back here at $140. Uh, and that wasn't that long ago. That was May or June of 2021. So we're not talking uh, a very long amount of time. So at this point in time, if we can break above the candlestick for Wednesday, then I think you might have a nice trade to about the 50-day EMA or at least $25. If we break down below this low here, man, we're going to go looking towards $15, maybe even $10. NEO is a trade, even though crypto is hard to trade, but it's a small enough range that you should be able to deal with. You have to have help from the other markets, though.